People really try to pull my card on the internet. I've read comments accusing me of never having paid taxes as a music producer simply because I've never made a YouTube video talking about it. Because as we know, if you don't talk about it in a YouTube video, it never happened. So I, I really need to make a YouTube video about urinating because I've been holding it for decades. <laughs> I wish I didn't pay my taxes though. Okay, so this is a video for producers and recording artists, rappers, singers. A lot of us complain about uh, our expenses, right? How expensive beats are, how expensive equipment is, how the cost of beat stars or Airbit monthly memberships add up. Sometimes I complain about Facebook business ads or the cost of MailChimp, but I'm running a business and businesses come with expenses. And those expenses can mean that you pay less in taxes at the end of the year. I mean, that's, that's the silver lining. See, the government allows you to deduct a certain amount from your taxes every year. That's based on your age and some other factors. They call that the standard deduction, right? But if you're like me and you're running a business, you have expenses that exceed that number, that standard deduction number, right? I mean, you might be buying beats, you might be buying keyboards, you might be spending money on marketing, business travel, uh, and that number is often larger than whatever the standard deduction is. These are called itemized deductions because you have to report what those expenses are. And that means keeping track of your expenses, making a spreadsheet, buying software that organizes your expenses, and then itemizing the cost of that software. Seriously, you can do that. And once you start doing this, you'll feel more confident in making business-related purchases, and maybe you'll stop acting like a whiny baby when it's time to invest in your career. Tough love. But just to rewind, yes, you should pay taxes. Matter of fact, if you're under the age of 65 and single, you must file a tax return if you've grossed $12,000 or more annually. I got notes here. And that's gross, not net. That's gross is before expenses. Otherwise, you get in trouble and I've seen it happen. And it's not a risk you want to take to not pay taxes. Don't think you can just get away with it because you're doing your business on the internet, selling beats, selling music. PayPal reports if you earn $20,000 gross from the sale of products or services. That's within a single year. So yeah, they're, they're watching you. And you don't want to destroy your business and your life and your family's life just over some financial negligence. You, you don't. So I recommend getting an accountant. I recommend keeping track of all of your expenses in some form of a tax diary. You know, look that up. I'm sure there are office templates for that. I made my own. I recommend paying your, your quarterly estimated taxes to avoid uh, penalties. Even though they're small, they might be 30 to 100 dollars I, I don't know what they are they're small but if i can save 30 dollars, i'm going to save 30 dollars. 30 dollars is a drum kit and some drumsticks the chicken kind i haven't eaten yet do you need to be an llc to run a business pay your quarterly estimated taxes itemize your expenses hire an accountant no absolutely not that's a myth that's floating around the internet there are advantages to being an LLC. There are some disadvantages too. There are pros and cons with everything. And I recommend looking up those pros and cons, doing your research, figuring out whether you want to be a sole proprietorship, which requires absolutely no paperwork, or an LLC or some other kind of incorporated structure. Either way, the bottom line is this. You want to make music for a living, you're a business. And that means you have to act like a business, you have to learn the business, you have to handle your business, you have to mind your business, because yes, I pay my own taxes. Wish I didn't. I don't even know how I read comments. 